No, welcome to South Red Devils. Welcome to England. How does it feel to make the move over here? Yeah, I'm, 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 you know, the trip here was pretty good. I slept the whole way and um, it was pretty, pretty smooth. So I'm just happy to be here. You've achieved so much in your career with West Tigers. What made this move the right one for you at this point in time? Yeah, I think uh, for, personally for myself, I um, thought it was good to get out of, uh, I suppose, get, in, get into a new environment. And, um, you know, what, there's no better way of, you know, going overseas and um, starting pretty much a whole new chapter. What was it about competing in the Super League as well that's attracted you? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a, it's a challenge uh, that I'm excited about and, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of players uh, come here but uh, for myself, you know, obviously I want to make it, um, you know, make it a big big thing for me to, to make, make a big impact uh, in the league and especially for Salford and um, um, it's going to be important, um, yeah, for myself and, um, you know, I suppose it's going to be yeah, like I, like I said earlier, a, a good challenge. Talk to me about your relationship with, with Chris Naninu. How close are you two and what specific <laughs> conversations have you had with him prior to coming over? Oh, we, we, we used to call each other Rumi because uh, we were roommate together uh, when we played for um, Samoa together. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, our relationships, uh, you know, we've, we've had that connection um, ever since. And uh, when he reached out to me, um, you know, um, you know, I was obviously interested, and I was I wasn't too sure whether um, I was I was ready to come. But um, you know, with um, certain circumstances, I um, you know I believe everything happens for a reason, and um, you know I'm here now, and I'm excited to you know to work with him and um, um, and everyone at the club, and um, you know I look look forward to you know what's ahead. And Paul Rowley is a head coach hugely admired across the competition here. Have you had much chance to speak to him about how you'll fit into the team? Yeah, he's been he's been um, fantastic. Um, he's, he's, um, his communication with me has been um, very um, very easygoing, and uh, uh, you know, not he made sure a lot of uh, that that I was um, well prepared before I left to, uh, Sydney to to get here. And um, you know, he's a, he seems like a very very genuine guy, and um, you know it's, that's uh, I can already say that someone I want to work for. You're the all-time top try scorer for West Tigers. Supporters are already really excited about the prospect of having you in this team. For those who perhaps haven't watched you as closely, how would you summarise what attributes you'll bring to the team? Yeah, well, you know, um, I suppose it's a specialty of mine to you know score tries, and um, you know I've done it at uh, you know at the Tigers for a long time, and. Um, you know, to be able to come to to South Salford, Salford. Oh, someone corrected me. It's, it's Salford. Salford, Salford. That's all right. Uh, Salford, and um, you know, be you know, do the same thing for 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 the club. Um, you know, I hope um, I'll bring a lot of excitement and um, you know to the fans, and um, and you know, I I'll prove to them and show them um, you know what I can do. We have exciting players on the edges too, the likes of Tim Lafay and Nene McDonald. How much are you looking forward to linking up with them in particular? Yeah, I, was, oh, I'm, I look forward to it very much. And um, I've already spoke to Timmy and I said, um, you know, I had a little, um, we had a little thing and I said to him, mate, um, left side, strong side. So um, I said to him, I already spoke to him, I want, I want us to be, um, you know, the most damaging um, combo in the, in the league, and um, you know that, I believe that we can we can do that. Everyone here talks about how lofty the ambitions are at this club to compete in the big matches. What do you think it takes to take that next step and, and compete in them sort of occasions? Yeah, I think it. Uh, well, it comes to um, preparation and um, you know how the team communicates with each other um, on a daily basis, and the structures are going into the game, and the information you get fed from the from the coaching staff, and I suppose making sure, yeah, uh, and then that that goes into you know focusing on on the game, and um, I suppose uh, outside of football, you got to make sure that you're you're well prepared mentally um, in that that aspect, and and then you know the, the game will look after itself. And just finally, how excited are you to feel the atmosphere over here in the Super League in England? Supporters over here, especially ours, are very passionate and follow us home and away. Oh, I look forward to it. I've never, um, 
to be honest, I've, I've, I've never watched a, <laughs> I've never watched a uh, Super League game. I, I don't think I have, um, so I, I'm unsure about the fans. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Um, I heard that they say they're mad fans. <laughs> um, um, so. So it's going to be interesting to see see what they're like. Brilliant, David. We're all very excited to have you with us. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us and best luck for the season. Thank you.